So my grandmother was probably the best cook uh, I've ever known. I used to live with them in the summer in the Jersey Shore and used to fly up there the day after school got out and spend the entire summer swimming and playing in the, uh, the ocean. It was great. And I always remember her dinners. You'd have four, six people would turn into eight, 12, 16. And by the end of the night, everybody in the block was on their deck enjoying uh, themselves with uh, libations. And <laughs> I always remember just no matter what she ate, it was the best except once she made this god-awful meatloaf, and we always give her a hard time with that. Still to this day, she's 90, 90 years old. And <laughs> yeah, still give her we still give her time about the meatloaf, and it was probably 20 years ago. So, yeah, Veronica, she's a good cook. I, it's cliche, but my grandmother. Um, my parents were divorced. I didn't get to see my grandmother very often, so when we, went, when we did go down south, uh, she would have um, a pot of peas, beans, um, she would do, you know, fried stuff. Every morning we woke up, breakfast would be ready. Um, you know, with our family, it was kind of something that did bring us together. Um, Saturdays, you know, waking up, my mom would cook us breakfast. Um, just eating in general and, you know, being together as a family, you know, we really enjoyed that. Um, and then, you know, food really brought us together. Um, but no, my granny um, was hands down the best cook uh, in the world for sure.